Welcome back to another edition of Myth Badger Videos. We're back at Vector.com and we're going to explore a workflow from start to finish in order to talk about how do we export the files when we're done. So I'm going to start here with a blank canvas and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and upload an image here and I've got an image of my kids that I'm going to use. So I've got my three boys here, Alexander, William, and Jackson, and we're going to take a look at this Christmas photo because let's say I want to take this and convert it into, say, an ornament or a magnet. And I want to take the picture and use it for another purpose. But I want to shape it first. So I've got my image loaded up here, and I'm going to come down here to more shapes, and I think I'm going to use this heart shape. Uh, maybe I want to... Um, turn them into a heart. So I'm going to kind of line this up a little bit because I want to make sure I get their heads in there appropriately and I can always make adjustments when I'm done. Um, but I'm going to kind of get this in position here. And what I can do is highlight both and I can use my tools here. Let's see, there we go, to intersect. And we can see how uh, I seem to have cut off a little bit more of um, the one on the left. And I kind of want to center that a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and move the heart just a tad. And let's try that again. Let's take a look. I'm using my intersect, and that seems to kind of better line up. Uh, sort of. Let's bring it. I can't bring it down too much. Maybe what I can do is I can bring this up so I'm at the boundaries of the image. There we go. So I get the boundaries of the image, and... Let's try that one more time, and we'll just kind of go with it. Yeah, that, that seems to work okay. Okay, that, that's appropriately got them. And I'm just going to go ahead and click that intersect, and I'm left with this heart-shaped image of my kids. Uh, at this point, I'm done with the graphic design side of it. What I want is I want to produce a picture out of this. So I'm going to come up here, and here's where some of my tools are. Now, I can create new files. I can... Um, I can change my file settings, for instance, if I want to use inches instead of pixels. I can even um, adjust the uh, use of a grid or how it snaps to the grid um, in the space that I'm using. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around and export here. So this pops up an export option, and I can choose to export pages or selections. Pages works for the most part, but if you only want a certain part of it, you can select the item first. I'm just going to go with page because I want everything here. And you see I've got options for SVG, PNG, and JPG. These are the three most common image file formats that you're going to see. JPG or JPEG files do suffer from compression, whereas SVG is a more beneficial one for what I want to do. Let's say I want to take this file and I want to send it over to a laser cutter. And I want it to cut out the heart shape and I want it to go ahead and use the laser cutter to convert that wood into an actual image. It's going to burn off uh, or burn into the wood in just the right way so it actually produces this as an image. I'm going to want to use SVG because it's scalable vector graphics, which is what that stands for, is what's going to be recognized by my laser cutter most efficiently. Scalable vector graphics are also very commonly used because if I'm not working with an image like this and I'm just working with shapes, the shape will scale without showing any form of pixelation. So I'm going to go ahead and use the SVG option. I can change the width and height, but for my purposes, it's not going to be important because it's not going to be needed to really worry about the scale. But if I wanted to, I can make this larger or smaller as needed. And when I'm ready, I'm just going to go ahead and click Download. And I'm going to save this heart boys. And I'm just going to save that image there. And I've saved it to my computer. I now have that image ready to go. And I can use that in other purposes, whether I want to use it online or I want to throw it over my laser cutter in order to cut that out like I described. And that's it. Feel free to explore this a bit on your own with your own images or even just start creating shapes and, and export them as those SVG files in order to use them for whatever purpose you want to use. Thank you for watching and feel free to hit that subscribe button to keep up with all of our content here at Myth Badger Videos.